Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that I received. The translation of that message reads like this. Hello, how are you? My name is not important. What matters is what I have done and the power that I have come to possess through money. I really do not know where I went wrong. I am a blesser, a different one, based here in Pretoria. I am a man that has money and everything that money can buy. People, when they see me, they look at the beautiful cars that I have, your luxury cars, your clothes, your apartments, endless nights at exclusive clubs. But what they don't see is the darkness that fuels everything, the cost that comes with this so-called dream. I didn't get here through hard work or by chance, no. I got here through rituals, rituals that require more than most people can ever imagine and i think that it is time to let it out of my heart there are a couple of women that have fallen in love with me yes a woman can start dating me simply because of money because i understand that the majority of women out there they are struggling to get love to get money so that is why people are always judgmental that when a woman is dating a man that is rich it is all because of the money there are other reasons as well. There can be love again. And I have heard most of these women. And I do not even know what they think about me. I have slept with these women using other means that can be called just satanic. I was never like this. I still remember when I was still back home. I used to go to this other Pentecostal church, not wanting to mention the name of that church. But I was good. I was someone who used to go around preaching and even going to crusades with the crusade team, preaching deep in the villages. But I never thought that it was going to be me doing all of these things, hurting women in this kind of a way. It was never like this. There was a time when I was just another guy trying to make it in a foreign world where money was everything. Being in a foreign country is never easy. I was that person also who wanted the good life, to have a good car. I'm addicted to fast cars, those that they call your muscle cars. I wanted a big house, but no matter how hard I worked, it was always felt like I was running in circles, chasing after something that I could never catch. Money would come in, but it would disappear just as quickly as it would have came. So I did not have any bank account. I was always being given my money by cash. Then I used to lose my money a lot. I went to a red garment prophet who told me that one of my aunties back home in Zim had made almost like a covenant with the devil. And then she had said that I was supposed to return back from South Africa with nothing because she wanted to laugh at me because she wanted me to suffer. She did not want me to come to South Africa. That man assisted me, but he did not assist me properly. I said, how about I try some local sangomas? That was when I met another healer. He was different. He was dealing in herbs and sp spiritual healings. He then told me that he could give me something to deal with my auntie back home. He was going to give me some sort of a multi that was going to change my life forever. That was what I wanted. When we first met, he did not say much. He just looked at me and he already knew the reason as to why I was at his house. He did not need to ask because he could sense my desperation, my hunger for being rich. He told me that the path that I was about to take, it was very difficult, a difficult one, he said, but I did not care. I was willing to do whatever that it was going to take. I needed to get out of the life of just being a nobody. I wanted to be seen as if I was someone. He told me about the rituals, how the spirits will grant me whatever that I wanted. And then he told me that you are going to be the sacrifice. You need to sacrifice with your own blood. So I was like, if you say that I have to sacrifice using my own blood, then how am I going to enjoy the money? Because I am here for the money, am I not? He said that this was something more intimate, something tied to my flesh and blood. To gain the money that 
I was going to need, I needed to perform specific rituals with men, not with women. Not just any men, your gay men. According to him, he said that if I was going to do this, if I was going to do that to another man, this was going to give me great wealth. The time that I'll be sleeping with a man, using the other way around, my topology as well will be sleeping with that man. I admitted that at first this sounded as if it was insane. Sleeping with men is part of a ritual to be rich. Oh no, I never wanted that. But the Sangoma explained it to me and he said, You see, when we create a topology using the spirit of a person that has died, if that person was a thief, if that person was a murderer, that togoloshi will come back with that same kind of energy, being violent. If the person was a witch, that is when you will become a witch. But you would have studied with money-making rituals. You need to understand these things are the things of the spirit. So I said, so this togoloshi that you have given me, do you mean that uh, this man, when he was still alive, he used to be gay? And the Sangoma said, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. That is what I have been trying to tell you. He was a married man. He was married to another man. Even though he used to have his own wife and kids, but he followed his desire. So now that we created his dogology, we need to respect his wishes. He does not enjoy sleeping with women. So you are going also to stop sleeping with women. If you want to sleep with a woman, you ask for permission from the dogology. So I did that. I made the deal. Now, this is what I have been doing. I hang out in places where gay men frequent your nightclubs, your bars, private parties. And as a man who has money, like we are always in demand, I can get one or two, buy them some expensive gifts. But as for the first ritual, it was intense. I don't want to lie. I was nervous. I did not know what to expect. But the Sangoma had given me specific instructions how to prepare, what to say, what to do during the ritual so that the person can never know that this was part of a demonic act. It was not just about sleeping with a man, it was about using them, using them deposit my semen in their back area. The first man had no idea what was happening. I slept with him and left my semen inside of him and then I moved on with my life. From there on I started making money, business deals here and there. But what hurts me is that I then met a woman, a woman who was attracted to me because of financial security. But that woman, the way that I did her, I felt so sorry for her. I destroyed that woman. I destroyed her confidence because I told her that unfortunately we had to sleep with each other using the same two. And at first, she said, that can never happen. But because she wanted money. The day that I called her to my house, she had told me that she had no school fees for the kids and she had no money for the transport fee. And I said, come and collect it. And I took advantage of her. It really pains me, the things that I did to that woman. I was never like this. I am now different, very different from the men that I used to be, a man who loved God. If you post my story, please tell me so that I can follow through in the comment section. Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear brother. Strange things indeed, they do happen in this world.